crashing the palate. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Dixon and welcome to The Dapper Bowl. If you're new to this channel, we talk about men's fashion and grooming tips and learning how to dress our best life. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about something different. Whiskey. Let's go. As you can see here, I have a very special guest in today's video. Please welcome Ethan. Hi guys, my name is Ethan. I run the Instagram page Call to the Bar. If you like cocktails, check me out. Alright, so before we get into the whole whiskey talk, Tell us, Ethan, how do you get yourself into cocktails? Well, I used to work in the service industry, the hospitality industry when I was a student. So I worked in football stadiums, I worked in restaurants, bars, and that's sort of how you know, I got into food and drinks. And uh, when lockdown came in Malaysia, I thought, what better way to you know, kill some time to share some of my recipes um, and share the hobby of mixology. So in today's video, whiskey. By the way, this is going to be the first video of a two-part series, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for part two. So Ethan, what's the first bottle we're having today? The first bottle that we're having is the Macallan Triple Cast. It's a 12-year-old whiskey from Scotland. Um, it's a single malt whiskey. Right? Before we start tasting the whiskey, the three things you want to think about when tasting a whiskey is basically the aromas that it brings out, so the nose, and then you want to go on to tasting, tasting it in the palate, seeing what flavors you can pick up, and the third thing that you want to think about is how the whiskey finishes, um, the ending, how smooth is it, is it spicy, is it sweet, is it velvety, so once the whiskey goes down, how does it feel? So you're actually swirling the glass, is this the right way to actually have whiskey? Yeah, so basically when you're tasting a whiskey, you want to taste it with something called a snifter glass. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit narrow on the top. And you basically mm -hmm. want to swirl it, release the aromas, and basically put the nose close to the funnel and really give a nice long sniff. See what notes you pick up. Mm -hmm. This one smells very rich, it's very full bodied. I don't know if you Getting some sweet senses in here as well. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely very creamy. Um, uh, you can smell a bit of oak, it's woodsy. It's not too sharp, so it's not very overpowering, not not peaty at all. Shall we? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there's a hint of sweetness. No, and um, uh, citrusy as well. Definitely is on the sweeter side. Yeah, yeah. And if you realize when you swallow it, when it goes down, it's smooth at first, but it's sort of a slow burn. The truth is not overpoweringly spicy. Definitely easier to drink compared to like Jack Daniels or. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think for American whiskeys, it's just a little bit too sweet sometimes. Uh, if that floats your boat. Definitely prefer good squash. Alright, before we move on to taste the second bottle of whiskey, we want to have some water just to cleanse our palate mm -hmm. and make sure we can taste the second bottle. Sure. Alright, so what's next? Okay, the second bottle that we have um, is one of my personal favorites. It's from Douglas Lane's Timorous Misty 10 year old blended malt. So what a blended malt is, is basically single malts from different distilleries and they're mixed together and that's what makes it a blended malt. So when tasting, again, pay attention to the nose, the palate and the finish as well. So we swirl it to get the aromas out. This one's really sweet, it's even sweeter than the one before. I can smell, you know, it's, it's very rounded. Definitely smells sweeter than the Macaulay. A bit of woodsy notes as well. Getting some spicy notes as well. Yeah, this one's quite a spicy whiskey. Taste it. So, if you can tell, when you're moving it around your mouth, it's sort of coating your mouth, it's a little bit buttery. It's there's some oily consistency to it. First impressions, it's really spicy in the throat. Mm -hmm. 
right? It's like the spice we see compared to the Mikado one. Yeah, definitely. When you swallow it, you sort of have, have that um, hint of spice to it. And what you said about the buttery consistency in your tongue, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm getting that as well. Yeah, it's sort of like eating pastry or something. Where, you know, it's really oily and it sort of coats your mouth. Definitely something I'm tasting for the first time. That, that sensation. So the third bottle that we have is Johnny Walker, 21 year old blended scotch. So what blended scotch means is that it's a blend of single malt as well as grain whiskies. But for this bottle in particular, it's blended with um, 21 year old whiskies. So all of the whiskey in here are 21 years old. And you can see from the colour itself, it's really, really dark. It spent a lot of time in the oak barrels. Definitely darker than the Macallan. Yeah, and the timorous one, right? Shall we? Yep. This one's very rich, very full body, and you can taste a lot of wood as well. The wood is very pronounced. Very oaky. Mm -hmm. Not getting that spicy um, hit to it compared to both the first whiskies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not it's much of a sweet taste to it as well, don't you think so? It's a bit drier. It's very smooth and uh, again, that slow burn after you swallow it, right? So, the Timur's DC 10 year old blended malt, that was spicy, it's sort of like you were eating chili. This one is sort of slow heat closer in comparison with the Macallan. Yeah. I feel like having this with a little bit of uh, ice in it would make it um, you know, pretty good. Yeah, and you can add some water in it. So, you know, just add a little bit of a few drops of dilution just to open up a little bit. And is this another way to actually have whiskey to add, add water? Right. Well, when you're tasting whiskey, you want to taste it neat first. And then, you know, you go on to add a little bit of dilution, open up the flavours, and do the same thing again. Swirl. Smell it. And taste it. Yeah. This one definitely is um, richer than the other two. Yeah. Alright, so Ethan, among the three bottles, which is your personal favourite? For me, after tasting this side by side, it's a really, really close call. I came in thinking that I really, really love this and I still do. It's one of my favorites. But when I'm tasting it side by side, I have to say that this one, the uh, Johnny Walker, uh, 21 year old blended scotch, it just the timorous beastie 10 year old mouth by just a hair. I really like the rich and woodsy flavor of this uh, Johnny Walker 21 year old. Yeah. Coming from someone who's not a whiskey drinker. Definitely go with the Macallan just because of um, the sweet notes I'm picking up from the Macallan. I'm liking this as well, but like I said, I think I would prefer it to have a little more ice in it to just have it in like a more chill uh, sort of setting. But all in all, this one's great. This one is just a little too spicy for me. Okay. Yeah. So that's it everyone for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And thanks so much Ethan for joining us today and talking about whiskey. Remember guys, this is the first video of a two-part series, so stay tuned for part two next week. As always, stay dead.